Good morning, everybody, and welcome back for more War Thunder highest tier German tank gameplay. This is a battle from 24 November 2017. It is going to be the first really good battle in my KPZ-70. Not really a particularly standout battle, and I'm sure I've had other battles that were equally as good as this already and just didn't think to keep them as the first good battle. But I happened to have a 300% RP booster turned on for this one, and it went very well, so decided to call it this one. I could have alternatively titled this why I should turn off team chat in War Thunder, as you'll see throughout the battle, but uh, that's the last I'll mention that. So if you've seen me play this map before, you know that I will 99% of the time go for the B point, because in my opinion the B point is the key to victory on domination on this map, on domination spe specifically speaking. If you hold B, you can do it, you can stop anybody else from getting up to B, and you can mutually defend C and A. And in this case, the only reason I didn't go for B and I went for C was because of that 300% RP booster. And I wanted to make absolutely certain that I got as much research as possible out of it. And I uh, spotted an MBT-70 over here, shot some smoke at him. I was actually trying to hit him with it. I think I fired just over him. I can't actually tell. It definitely went behind him. I'm not sure if I hit him or not. Um put another one up behind him, was getting ready to fire an actual shot at him. He backed away, and then I put a shot into the tree there to knock it down and mess with his vision to give me the amount of time I needed to clear this dumb trench here that slows you way the heck down. Still took a counter shot from him that thankfully bounced. He must have just hit the angling on the turret cheek, and then made my run up to the B point where I was trying to get after the capture of C so that I could help the team hold the B point there. We've got a pretty significant amount of our team heading over around south towards the A point, and that's okay. But we didn't really have enough people moving for B. There's one guy up on B right now. I'm getting there as quickly as I can to help him. But one person trying to hold the B point on this map is an extremely dangerous proposition. And thankfully I was able to get there. Just missed the shot I wanted. The uh, 20 mil armor absorbed the uh, shot I put there. It just missed getting the crew. Took a side shot from somebody here, I couldn't tell exactly what it was, and then I spotted that it was actually an MBT-70. And in that case right there, I think the gun alignment actually got me the kill, because that was not where I aimed, but where the shot went was right where it needed to. I don't think I would have gotten that kill if the shot had gone where I specifically had aimed it, so I guess thanks RNG? Just barely swung my gun barrel a little too fast there and fired into the side of the building. If those buildings had been penetrable by shots, I would have killed that M18 for sure, but unfortunately, missed him. But I was able to reload fast enough to get a shot into the previous MBT-70 there for a double kill. My second MBT-70 knocked out, and my uh, covering smoke to my left side was doing me some big favors, I think. I don't think there were too many enemies that actually went north of B and C, but just the same. I love the double double round of smoke launchers you can get for the uh, KPZ and MBT. So I'm now alone up at the B point. My uh, other teammate who'd been up here had been taken out by one of the multiple enemies that had come up. We're still holding it, but uh, we lost half of our team here. So if you look at the minimap now, there's a lot of guys south of A that are in a reasonably good position to keep guys engaged and tied down at A, but they're not really where they can help anything else, and they can do what they're doing just as well from the B point. Thankfully, I got a real good hit on that Type 74 as he nearly made it in behind the building, and I stopped him cold before he could capture. And then was able to get a good finishing shot into his crew compartment. Took another counter hit from somebody to my left and was trying to get anybody to come up towards B. There is somebody coming up the road from the spawn, but I really needed one of those other five guys from down south to get up there. I used the uh, cover from the bomb strike to try and move and relocate because I wasn't entirely sure where I had taken the hit from. And right as I come around this building, there's going to be a chieftain waiting there. And thankfully, somehow, I got a good shot into him. And as I reloaded to move back in and put a finishing shot into him, he got blown up by a T-64, which was fine with me. I'll take the assist there. Now, this little guy right here that I wasn't able to get a good shot on, remember him because I made a real big mistake with letting him go. 
So there's all kinds of enemies firing here. I get a good spot on this MBT-70 here and finish him off for my third kill. And then, or my fourth kill rather, third tank rescuer. And then roll up on an M19 who's firing at our airplanes flying by in our spawn and somehow didn't quite get a crew kill on him. Got him on fire. And right as I'm about to get a follow-up shot on him here. Yeah, that little guy. I wouldn't worry about that little guy. Well, I would worry about that little guy. However, my scoring for the MBT, or my, sorry, for the KPZ-70 was not done yet for the 300% booster, so. Four kills, an assist, and a capture so far, but like I said, I wasn't done. I had critically damaged the M19, so. Respawned in the RU-251 was uh, going to come back in the uh, Leopard A1A1, but I thought I had best get back to the A point, or the B point quickly, because it was definitely not fully defended at the moment. We've got the C point held down, and we've got the A point pretty well tied up. And we're not in a bad position right now, but we still don't have this battle fully locked down by any means. Our team is advancing in a pretty good line towards A and B, and that's good. But we do not fully have this battle under control at the A and B point. If they moved up into B and took it from us, and they still had guys at the A point, they could easily be mutually defensive on A and B and stop us from taking those points back. And turn the battle around, and we could still lose it. It's not terribly likely, but it's not outside the realm of possibility either. So we've got a fair amount of guys moving up towards A, and we've got a little bit of mutual support coming in with me towards B here. Unfortunately, I got strafed there, which marked me out. And someone's going to take advantage of it. And there we go. There's the kill assist on the M19, which closes out my scoring for for my KPZ-70. So I knew the shot had come from somewhere on my left. Unfortunately, I had a 45-second repair there, which was not great. I put artillery to hopefully discourage anyone from coming up to me and give me time to repair. And uh, fired off all my smoke, and unfortunately, the repair time is just too long. Now our guys are taking the A point, and that's good, and we've got C still pretty well covered. But uh, I am alone at B with a very long repair, and that's probably not going to go terribly well. And there it is. MBT-70 rolls up. Somehow I survived the first shot. I don't know how that happened. And there we go. Now it showed I got the assist for the uh, RU-251, but it should have counted towards the KPZ-70. It just it showed that the assist was scored there, but the research points will have gone to the KPZ-70 because that's what I actually credited it with. So now I come back in the Leopard A1A1. And boy, I love it, but man, I miss my regular Leopard 1 sometimes because of just how much faster it gets moving without the extra armor on board. Battles like this, sometimes you want that speed more than the armor. And there goes all of our guys who captured A moving in towards their spawn, and they're all going to get killed over there by spawn protection. Now, there's the MBT-70 who had killed me, taken out just past B, and that probably was the point where this battle was well and truly a done deal, and all over but the final mopping up of the enemy targets here. But as you'll see, our guys that are right in on their spawn are all going to get killed out back there in their spawn by enemies respawning under spawn protection and shooting them. Which I still... Ah. I don't know how people don't get that that's a thing that's going to happen to them. There's one. And that's the 
MBT-70 that had killed me has respawned in his M60A1, and he takes out a T-54 in their spawn. Now, I broke my own personal rule here about not shooting into the enemy spawn, and all I can say is I'm not proud of it, but 300% RP booster. Also, I actually thought that guy was dead because he looked like he was wrecked out, but that doesn't really excuse it. However, 300% RP booster, we were definitely going to win. Wanted to make sure I maximized the 300% RP booster I got there. So, yeah. And that will pretty much wrap up the scoring. There's an M163 here who does some good work at the end. There's one down, BF-109F down, and then a Su-6 comes in, and this is a pretty cool bomb strike, I gotta say, here. <laughs> he also got shot down by the M163, but the uh, airstrike was pretty neat. And that'll do it. Always nice to have a 300% RP booster that I got from the daily tank arcade assault battle from a victory, and it's always nice to uh, use that and have a good battle happen. And also have a victory. And that smoke right at the end there as we faded out. Perfect timing. So there we have it. Almost 15,000 RP towards the Bagel Panzer. Finished up my filters, as I had mentioned in the uh, first 10 for AP FSDS with the KPZ-70. Got a little bit of research towards the Leopard A1 and one at least, and uh, pulled off a of first place. So not too bad, not too bad of a start with the KPZ-70, and not too bad of a battle overall. So that'll do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you have a great rest of your Sunday or whatever day it is at whatever day you happen to be watching this. Thank you for checking this one out. Don't forget to look in the description for all my social media links and such. And we'll see you guys next time for more War Thunder. Have a great day.